Hi, it's me again, the preacher from the Philippines. Continuation of my message. Unbelievers, your days are numbered. Again, when I talk of unbelievers, I do not talk only to you at the east. I also talk to you, to anybody who doesn't like to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. To anybody who doesn't like to accept Jesus Christ as the only way, the truth and the life. To anybody who doesn't like to accept Jesus Christ as the Creator, the Almighty God. So therefore that's you, Roman Catholic, Mormons, Buddhists, Hindus, Muslims, all those who practice Islam, Jehovah's Witnesses, Seventh-day Adventists, Hare Krishna, Church of Satan, Scientologists, I'm telling all of you now, all your days are numbered now. Either you will accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, or you will all be tormented in hell. Well, uh, Mr. Uh, Muspiano, I will answer your question now, sir. And you too, Mr. Apmatic. But first, let me just uh, uh, answer this from Colorado, Mike S. God is Santa Claus for adults. Colorado, Mike S., if you're watching me now, I am telling you, go to hell. Yes, go to hell. I mean it. Okay, Nermak Channel. The other post of mine should read, Why does your God not show himself if he has authority over the world? Why does he rely on people like you? No! God doesn't rely on anybody to anybody! And I'm telling you, Mr. Nermak Channel, God! will never grant your capitzo or your whims. God had already showed his power that in creating this universe. Billions of galaxies and stars, billions of planets. He displays his power already. And he will not show his power, he will not show himself just for you to know and, and believe in him. Nermak channel. The Bible is very clear. You have to come by faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So therefore, Nermak channel, you are out of your mind, my dear viewer. All of you the ease are all out of your mind. Okay. Lucid Atis, it is. There is no evidence for Jesus, no other source that confirms that the Jesus of Nazareth ever existed. There is no evidence. That is your alibi. That is your excuse. You know why? Because you love darkness more than God. Okay, let me continue. Seattle 5001. Go to hell, sir. Okay. Uh, P Channel. Mr. P Channel. You! Look at my eyes and you! Gray Pax uh, 55. Mus Piano. Rivers on the Moon. Blast, the plus from 84040. Crucifixion, you are the worst of the worst, I'm telling you. I do not believe that you are a human being. You know why? Because no human being can blaspheme God the way you blaspheme Him. I do not believe that you are an animal. Because no animal blasphemes God. I do not believe that you are an insect too. I don't even believe that you are demons. You know why? Because even demons cannot blaspheme, cannot mock God the way you mock and blaspheme Him. So therefore, what are you, Mr. P. Chan? 
It's a boastful and arrogant. I'm telling you, when you go to hell, you will weep. You will cry and scream for mercy. But it will be too late. Mr. P. Channel, you believe me, sir. It's just a matter of time. You will never escape the wrath of God. Okay, why not accept the idea that you could be wrong? Why is it impossible to believe that you could be wrong about God? How can you be so sure that the Bible is true? How do you know Koran is false? How do you know Hindus were wrong? Well, let me ask you this question also, Mr. P. Channel. Mr. P. Channel, who are you? What are you? Are you an American, Mr. P. Channel? You might say yes if you are an American. And I'm going to ask you again, why are you sure that you are an American, Mr. P. Channel? You will probably answer me yes because you were born in this country, USA. Your parents are American. Great grandparents were also American. So therefore, that qualifies you to become an American. But my question again, how sure are you? Second question, are you a male or a female, Mr. P. Channel? If you are a male, you will probably say yes, of course. You are not a gay. Now, how sure are you that you are not gay? Or that you are not a, a, a female. Now, you will probably say, that is a foolish question. Yes, and therefore, same thing with your questions. I cannot be wrong. You know why? Because I have God with me. I talk to God every day. He guides me. He watches me. He protects me. And He bless me every day. I know Him. And He knows me. I cannot be wrong about my belief in God. How can I be sure that the Bible is true? Yes, I'm very sure, Mr. P. Channel. It is the word of God. How do you know Quran is false? How do I know that Hindus are wrong? Yes! There is only one light, there is only one way, and there is only one truth. And that is Jesus Christ. And everybody else are all false and fake. That is why Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except by me. Mr. P. Channel, make up your mind. You are now on your way to hell. On Judgment Day, all of you atheists and mockers, all of you blasphemers of God, all of you Hindus, Muslims, Buddhists, Mormons, Roman Catholic, Jehovah's Witnesses, on Judgment Day. When you will see this great God, Jesus Christ, sitting on his great throne. Oh my, it will be the greatest shock of your life. You will beg for another chance. But no more chance. You will wish that you just became a dog or a carabao or a goat or a monkey or even a cockroaches or lizards. You know why? Because these animals, these insects, they do not possess any soul. So therefore they are not accountable <coughs> to God. But you, you are human beings. God created you. He gave you a soul, body and spirit. So therefore you know what is good and what is evil. But you chose to disobey God. You chose to blaspheme and mock Him. You chose to follow your evil ways and vices. So therefore, you are all without excuse. Mr. Muspiano, on my next video I will surely answer your question, sir. So therefore, keep, uh, remain watching. I'll continue on my uh, next message. And... Um,